Hello everyone. Here we've got another build. This is a Graflex again, but this time it's the latest round of Graflex or Grafly or whatever you want to call it from a plural. Um, so he was from uh, Corbanth at corbanth.com. So this is called the 2.5 just because of some slight modifications on the inside that make it um, a little bit easier to build. That's all. So generally it's, it's the same hill. So this one is for Zach and Zach found me on YouTube and uh, decided he wanted one of these building and he's over in the US so he's actually my first US client um, but uh, due to shipping and everything else I, I generally choose to stick to the uh, EU or the UK but um, he was willing to work with me on this so um, here we are it's all done he sent me all, sent me all the components about two weeks ago and it's probably taken me that long just to work out how to get things together for this um, this build so without further ado let me open it up and show you what's inside so Zach you just loosen this lever you probably already know that it makes a clicking sound on this one which mine doesn't might be all all the 2.5s that do that I'm not sure I've also noticed this clamp is very shiny it's quite nice there we go let's put that to one side that way so the chassis that Zach wanted um, was one he bought off um, Jordan Mall. So it's not the traditional sort of um, standard goth 3D uh, 3D printed chassis that you find, but I believe this one has been 3D printed. Um, it came in two pieces, uh, the, the battery end, which is inside here, and then the back end there, and they've both been glued together using E6000 and secured uh, to the inner core using some... Um, using a retention screw as well. So it is fairly secure, but Zach, I wouldn't um, purposely or I wouldn't hold it from here and I wouldn't sort of just apply any weight on this. It's been fine during the entire build, uh, but that's just a bit of a disclaimer there. E6000 strong, but um, you know, it's still just glue. It's not, um, it's not been secured by much else really. It's just the way the chassis is. So, the chassis itself has room for um, the board here, so I stuck that down with some um, double-sided mounting tape uh, around the edges and stuff, so that is very secure. The kill key here uh, covers a recharge port, so you pop that out when you want to recharge it, uh, or you want to give power to the Sabre. And you don't actually have to put that back in. Um, I'm going to leave that in for international postage, just to uh, make sure the battery's got no power for safety and all that. But um, because of this board, which is a Plectus Labs uh, Nano Biscotti, they have a deep sleep mode, which really uses a very, very small amount of power, even when it has um, it's been switched off. It goes into deep deep sleep mode without having physically cut cut the power to the battery light uh, like this does here. So that's up to you. Um, personally, I'll probably leave it in just because I think it looks quite nice. Actually, it just finishes it off a little bit. You've got the KR Sabres um, 28mm base speaker, I think that's a 4 ohm. Um, and at the back here you'll see a lot of um, wires, so that's as neat as I could get it. So you've got the recharge port here with some extra wires going to the board. You've got the speaker wire here which is a purple one. Uh, you've got two resistors there for the blue LEDs um, which merge to the one wire and then that goes back and up into the chassis. You've got a blue LED there that comes on um, when the board is awake, i.e. not in deep sleep mode. Um, so it will come on as soon as I pull this out. And also if you left it on standby for, I don't know, five minutes or something, um, that wouldn't be on. And to turn it on, you'd have to just press the on switch on the front uh, as if you were just igniting the saber. And then the first beep you'll hear will be, or the first noise you hear will be um, it waking up out of deep sleep. And then you press it again to fire it up. So that little indicator is there, good for uh, indicator is there just for a little added, added effect. And sometimes for troubleshooting, if um, you're copying files to the SD card or you haven't done them properly, or you forget to put the SD card in and you're wondering why it's not booting up, uh, that LED will um, give you some kind of indication, I believe. And all the rest of the wire, there is some excess wire there at the back, if you can see it. So I've coiled it round. Um, just to give it um, a neat and tidy look and that 
is secured with again the double sided mounting tape back there so that's not moving but that's just in case you ever want to upgrade the board or have somebody else um, do any maintenance or anything like that um, or even myself really but it's it gives you um, a few a couple of inches to play with and that's it so it's not a massively complicated um, build with fancy crystals or anything like that it's just a it's got a blue and a royal blue and a white tricree LED at the front so it's going to be the classic blue colour and let's get this started so what I'm going to do first we've got a um, KR Sabres blade plug there which just serves to um, sort of like a, just stop you from blinding yourself when you turn it on really if I do this and then pinch the end it should come out put that to one side and there's the tricree so the yellow looking one is the white and there's the two blues there, blue and royal blue, really. So this is how you um, secure the blade when you put it in. Don't over tighten it, you might crack the blade. Tighten it enough so that it's just holding the blade in. And you can, you obviously have to pinch these bunny ears when, um, when you put the blade in, just so it holds onto it properly. Um, this screw here doesn't actually do anything, it's just there. Um, previously, as you know, these I think come with a, a um, actually no, sorry, KL Sabres, i.e. the Sabre Armoury in um, the UK, do a longer version of that, which some people use to hold the blade in, but Zach choose, uh, chose to use this, and I prefer this really. And then you've got the switch, which, um, let's give it a go, put this here. Oh, pull the kill key out on the left. Anakin Skywalker there. And I think this font is uh, Graphics Revenge of the Sith by Shamim. So you see the blue LEDs there and it gives it a nice little effect there as well. And the recharge port, it's glowing. There you go. So at the moment it's, um, yeah. So there's, there's a slight issue with the config at the minute on the SD card and I'll fix that. But you can see it's mixing the white and the blue together, that you probably can't see. So what I've done is I was supposed to set it so that the two blues are on and not the white. Uh, and the white only comes on when you hit it, like that. But what's actually happening is uh, uh, I've got one of the whites and one of the blues on as standard. And then the, um, the, the other blue comes on when I'm, I'm clashing it. So... Bear me one moment, I'm just going to pause the video and edit that. Okay, that's done. So all I did is I'd, I edited the config to uh, switch on this the uh, blues and um, have the white only come on on Flash and Clash. The instructions are all on the Plactor Labs website if you were to look uh, for the Nano Biscotti version 4. And you can always drop me a message if uh, you need any help. There. That's the two blues on at the same time. So if I hit it, let's see if I can get that position there. So the white flashes when it clashes. That rhymes. Unintentional. And that's about it because it doesn't have a second button for an auxiliary feature or anything like that. It doesn't have a lockup effect or anything, but obviously you get all the cycle through the fonts shall we so that's one of them graphlex uh, revenge of the sith if i hold this that's mute mode if i let go now um this is the weapon of a jedi knight if i'd have let go after the first beep it would have come on but in a silent uh, ignition um but if you hold it for the second beep then it just um switches to the next sound font which is i believe it's um i can't actually uh, i think it's episode four and you hope? Yep, yeah, of course. Oops. And then we've got the final one, which is probably my favourite. The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. 
Okay, so this one is um, ESB Empire Strikes Back Legends, and I know it's not an Evader MPP or anything like that, but it sounds awesome. You can probably tell why that's one of my favourite sound fonts. Um, it works really well and I think, um, is it Juan Sith, who is the maker of that sound font, has done a really good job on that. So let's put this on because it gets a lot louder once you put this bottom end on. So you just push it on and then just twist clockwise with the lever open. And this takes forever. So much thread on this, and then just close this lever, and that's secure. So, let's see, you can tell the difference now. Fantastic sound font, and you probably can't tell on the speaker, uh, on the speaker on the PC or whatever you're using to listen to this. That is a bit louder. Um, it's not massively loud. It's not so loud that it drowns out the um, the audio or anything like that. The, um, the the treble when he's speaking, but I think it's just right. And having the speaker at the bottom really helps. So, all that being said, I think that's everything. There's not much more to cover. Um, at all really. I think it's been um, an interesting build because it's one, one of my first ones without um, a goth chassis. Uh, goth 3D has some really good chassis that um, are just they're just really good to work with and some really well thought out instructions. So this one is one of the first ones that I've had to improvise a little bit on but it's, it's been fairly decent. It's not, it's not been too difficult to work with actually. And Zach, I hope you enjoy your saber when it arrives. Have a good day.